Go. Come on, you got it. <laughs> Exterior assembly. Take six. Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, what we have planned for this video is we're going to be starting on the assembly on the outside of the car. So, the exterior, exterior assembly. assembly. As you guys saw from the little uh, the little film thing right there. Take seven. Take, take what? We're on take seven already, Ash? Oh. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna start piecing together this car little by little. So basically what I wanna do is uh, assemble the car from like the fender back as much as I can and then throw the engine in and then we'll assemble the rest of the car. First, I wanna go ahead and put these uh, door, the door handles. Handles, that's what it is, the door handles door in there. And then I'll go ahead and throw this trim on the side as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we got new seals for the handles, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these in first and then I can throw in the handles. So I just got the door handles on there. Everything's working perfectly. We got the new seals on there as well. Everything lines up perfectly. Those are good to go. Now we can actually open the door from normally instead of having to reach over inside. But yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and get these side moldings on there. And I'll also get these top moldings as well, these roof moldings. So I was gonna put the side trim on. We had ordered new grommets for everything, but they sent us the wrong ones. So they're not even the right grommets. We literally ordered everything by part number for this car and it's the wrong ones. So that's gonna set us back a bit. Moldings can't go on yet. For now, I'll just go ahead and throw the top trim in that goes right here. I got this trim on and that's basically all we can do right now. It's late as shit right now, so we're just gonna continue this tomorrow. Alrighty guys, we're back. New day, and we're gonna get... Wait, wait. Ah, shit. We gotta do it, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Bro, guys, a big nose, take one. <laughs> Alright, what were you saying? What? <laughs> Bet. Bet. I'll break it. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys remember, we couldn't put any of the moldings on because all the clips are wrong. So, we're just Thanks, gonna... ECS. Yeah, thank you, ECS Tuning. So we're just gonna go ahead and start assembling this trunk area <laughs> and maybe the bumper too. <laughs> and then there's Osh. Hey, that's not for me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. I just got the trunk back right, together. Guys. Kiss my ass. Just hey, got the trunk back to together. Lock, it's looking really good. The lock is back in with the new seal. Let's see if let's see if it opens. Let it go. Boom. Let it go. Let it go. Bang. Bang. Yeah, it's gonna crack. But yeah, I haven't seen that much rebound. It's looking <laughs> that much recoil. Damn, hold on. Damn, that's more recoil than the SMG. The works though. Yeah, it works. The lines look good. I just got this bumper reinforcement on. Now we're gonna go ahead and officially throw it back on the car. Just got the bumper back on here. It's looking really good. I just threw the diffuser on. Just see how it looks. It's not officially on there, but it looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and throw the lights on there now. And just finish up putting this interior together.
That's it. That's it, brother. This ain't ever coming off. And just like that, the rear end is somewhat back together. It's looking really good. We even do the emblem on there. Just like a little finishing touch, even though it's not finished. But damn, this thing is coming back together. I didn't throw the interior, the trunk panels and stuff in yet, but I'll do that tomorrow. So we're back at it again, trying to get this trunk back together. Uh, Armand's outside pressure washing some, some of the panels, like this trunk carpet right here. We're just letting it dry by the heaters. But as you can see, he's over there pressure washing the side panels. Once he's done and they're dried up, we can throw them back into the car. Bink, bam, boom. We are done with the trunk. It's looking 150,000 times better, Arm. Definitely, that's, that's for sure. Everything is back in and looking really nice and clean. That's that. Damn, it's looking like a car again. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and basically flip the car around. We're gonna push it out Full car, bro. and then back in so we can get the engine bay and everything ready. Cool car, man. Cool car, man. What is that? Harry? Oh no, it's maybe BMW, or BMW or something, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna flip it around so we can get the engine bay ready for the engine to go back in. All right, we got the car flipped around and inside. Now we have to go ahead and get that box of just engine bay parts. That entire box, like all those parts, have to go back in the engine bay. To start off, what we're gonna do is take these fenders off Get everything wiped down and cleaned down so we can start throwing all those parts back onto the car. What? Hey, okay. Sammy! We actually got these hood shocks on just so the hood can stay up for now. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. We just got the engine bay all cleaned up. We're starting to route these wires up real quick. And I'm also gonna go ahead and throw these new uh, power steering lines in here, which is gonna replace these old ones right here. Just got these new lines in here. They're looking really good. Can't hook them up yet, obviously, because the engine's not in here. We're gonna go ahead and start assembling everything else in the engine bay. So you're gonna sell it the day it gets out of here, or what? No one's gonna buy this, bro. Good point. Actually, all right, here we go. Hey, zoom in on my nose. <laughs> no, it'd be good footage. I know dude. you're not talking with bowling shoes on, dog. Bowling shoes? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Amiara. <laughs> everything back on here all the wires are ran we even hooked up all the brake lines up in here I don't know if you guys can tell or not but all the ABS wires all the insulation the heat shield everything is back on there so I think we're ready for to throw the engine in oh yeah for dinner no, no, the engine, yeah. so we're gonna call it a night next we're gonna be throwing these moldings on there but that'll be for another day so we'll see you guys then all right guys so today is the final day of the partial assembly that we're doing so you guys saw earlier that we got the engine bay like somewhat assembled getting it ready so we can drop the engine in which is sitting right there uh, we also got the trunk assembled so what we have left to do for this video is we have to get these side moldings back onto the car the reason it took us a while because we were waiting for these new clips and grommets to come in which is right 
here. So these are all brand new OEM clips and grommets. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those in. There's also a new little like airbag clip cover thingy. So I'll go ahead and throw that in as well. But we kind of had a dilemma with one of the moldings. So when we got the car painted, this molding gave like a little reaction. I don't know if you guys can tell right there, but it gave a little reaction when painting the paint on it and the clear itself. So I went ahead and sanded this down. I have extra paint and clear, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot it real quick. Shouldn't take too long. So I went ahead and sanded it down. That's ready for paint. That probably won't go on for a couple days, but I'll at least throw the rest of the moldings on. I'll probably just throw this on off camera or something like that. First, let me pull this cover off of the car. I'll go ahead and throw those on. Then I'll probably push the car outside and start shooting that little molding right there. Cover is off. The paint is looking fresh as it can be. It's looking so good, especially under this lighting. But now I'm gonna go ahead and throw those brand new clips onto here because a lot of these are actually broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all those clips with the brand new ones and then just slap them onto the car. All right, all the new clips are on. These little old clips were kind of tedious to get off. As you can tell, I kind of poked myself a couple times, but I'll be fine. So now that all these new clips are on, I got all the old grommets ready. I gotta go ahead and throw the grommets onto the car first, and then I can pop these moldings back in. So what I just realized is that we had taken the fenders off, and the fenders are already in the shed, so I guess the only things I'm gonna be throwing on is this big piece and these two smaller pieces for today but I can always throw those other things on. We'll probably throw those on in the final assembly. So for now, let's just finish off this video and get these moldings on and then I'll move on to painting that. And the moldings are finally on there. They fit on pretty damn well. Clicked right into place with the all new clips and grommets. So those are the last time those are coming off. Hopefully, hopefully there, it's the last time. Here's this side. That's finally on there as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing painted up so I can just throw that on there tomorrow when it dries. I'm gonna get the car pushed out so I don't get any overspray on anything. We got the molding all set up for paint. It's all ready to shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the paint now and shoot it up. So I went ahead and shot the paint just now. I'm actually surprised looking really good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some clear while I let this dry and then shoot the clear over it. All right guys, look how good this molding came out looking so good so far I don't see any mess ups so I think we're good to go there so now I'm just gonna let this dry and throw it on in probably a later video or something like that maybe even off camera but yeah that brings us to the end of this video thank you all for watching the videos and if you aren't already make sure to subscribe like and comment on the videos I hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the episodes on the E46 M3 thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace